Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nintendo Prime. We got a late night video for you guys because uh, a patent was discovered uh, from Nintendo that appears to apply to Splatoon 3. And, you know, there's some interesting stuff in it that we're going to talk about, but also there's a weird look at a Switch and something described in a Switch that I don't think I've ever seen described. You guys can obviously correct me uh, when we look at it here. So uh, first we got this from uh, Stefan Totillo, and this is actually uh, on Nintendo Life. I went here because Nintendo Life did a little digging into it. Um, and it says, Nintendo is always experimenting with ideas, and patents are a very important part of this process. Sometimes it'll file uh, something to do with hardware, and other times more focused on gameplay experiences. On this occasion, it's about the gameplay side of things, with the latest filing apparently focusing on improving mini-maps. The gist of it, according to Axios' Stefan Totillo, is that it's about making better mini-maps for series like Splatoon. And then he shows off this image, which clearly looks like Splatoon. Um, and I can tell you right now, this patent's very much built around Splatoon and Splatoon 3. It mentions paint and inking several times in the patent. Um, anyways, we're going to take a look at the, the, the patent in a moment, because there's one other interesting thing I want to note besides uh, what the patent's mainly about. And so, so it says, it's a huge wall of text, because patents are, and they're very confusing to read through. Uh, there are various references to shooting ink and painting areas with ink throughout the patent, which means it's probably something to do with the upcoming Splatoon 3. Uh, Go Nintendo provided this summary. It says, This minimap approach aims to make it easier for players to understand not just their own position, but the position of helpful items in other areas important to the map. The camera will you will shift dynamically based on moment-to-moment -moment action, as well as uh, with changing areas of importance on the map. So they're just changing how the minimap and how it works to help structure for, for uh, players and even for commentators. Uh, but when we go look at the actual patent itself, and this is the patent, what I found interesting is, having looked at a lot of these patents for various games, including things like um, the Breath of the Wild patents, Breath of the Wild 2 patents we looked at last year, is the system they're referencing. It's this, which, you know, looks like a Nintendo Switch, except it's got the rounded controllers. Um, and having looked back at other patents, including the Breath of the Wild ones last year when they were talking about the controls and stuff on the Switch, they have a picture of basically what looks exactly like a Switch. This does not look exactly like a Switch. Now, you might just say that this is, you know, uh, whatever. This is just the design choice of whoever drew this particular image for the patent. And I can hear you on that. But there's a part in here that mentions something very strange. So you go into the game apparatus, and you get to internal storage device, main memory, communication section, operation section, display section, onto the processor, and then inertia sensor, um, which says 117. Let's see if we can find 117 quick uh, to see what 117 is describing exactly. Let's get past. You can see some of these other images, by the way. I don't, I don't want to just like zoom past you know, images here. You can kind of see uh, images of, of stuff happening, how the camera is going to move. Um, and, and that's, that's cool. A lot of this, you know, isn't going to make a ton of sense until we play the game. Uh, but what I find interesting, obviously, is that 117 talking about that inertia sensor. Uh, I find that to be very strange because there's no such thing as an inertia sensor in the current switch. It doesn't exist. Um, the motion controls are handled, you know, like at first I thought maybe it was motion controls, but those are handled by the Joy-Con. So, inertia sensor. So, let, let's see if we can find 117. Scrolling on down. So, we got 60. Uh, let's see here. See if we can find 117 listed anywhere, uh, which it could be very hard to find 117. Um, you know, maybe we can... I don't know if this is going to work on a PDF, which, of course, the search doesn't work for. So, finding the exact uh, 117 on a figure can be... Uh, pretty difficult in patents. Patents are so damn confusing. Um, so, anyways, what I wanted to point out was obviously this inertia sensor um, being part of this. And, and and how weird is this? There's actually multiple mentions of the inertia sensor uh, in this patent. And as far as I can tell, uh, there is no inertia sensor in any of the Nintendo Switch patents. So this does make me wonder, of course, is, is this a potential, like, I don't want to say accidental, but like a first look at possibly um, what could be a next Switch. Again, I'm not telling you that a brand new Switch is coming out with Splatoon 3. That's not what I'm saying. But there could be a unique function, functionality of that inertia sensor 
uh, that might have an extra functionality in the game for whenever the Switch comes out. I, I know, guys, I know this is crazy crackpot theory time, and you guys can say what you want, um, come up with your own conclusions. I'm just pointing out what I'm seeing, okay? If I'm wrong on all this, that's totally fine. I'm just speculating based on my very hard look at patents over the years for Switch. So you guys let me know what you think about this. Obviously, uh, if you're you know excited about the little bit of Splatoon stuff here, or if you're excited to figure out what the hell is this inertia sensor, and why haven't we seen this listed in other Switches, and why the hell do we have a rounded edge Switch on the controllers that doesn't match any of the current Switch designs. I don't know. You guys let me know if, if, I, if I found something here. Or maybe I'm just a little bit crazy. Probably a little bit of both. All right, guys. I'm Nathaniel Rumpeljans from Nintendo Prime. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.